Welcome, everybody, to the first fully clothed naked show, the Naked Comedy Showcase Companion Piece Podcast. My name is Matt Kona. I'm uh, the co-producer of the Naked Comedy Showcase, along with Andy O'Feiss, who is the founder and host. He may be on stage naked at this moment. Actually, he could be about three minutes away, but I'm joined with uh, uh, off off screen producer Nick David. If you want to lean in and say hello, there, there's the top of his face, very much like Wilson from Home Improvement. Uh, Over the top of the fence. <laughs> yeah. Nick, Nick is the co-producer of the, the MMAniacs podcast, which I also host. So if, you, uh, if you're a New York congressman, you think that both of those things are just naked people uh, making a racket, but um, that's beside the point. I'm here with my uh, <laughs> guests, and, and this is an exciting thing. So a little behind the scenes of the podcast, we're going to interview people who have been, on the po- have been a part of the show before, or are doing it for the very first time, and we'll talk to them before and after. So this is the before section, and both of you are newcomers to the, the show. Yep. We are. All right, so we've got uh, Solange Azur yeah. and Rick Harkness. There you go. You got it perfect. There we go. Cool. Pronunciations two for three for three. I got Nick <laughs> David is a very easy one. Yeah. Very impressive. <laughs> if you yeah. forgot mine by now. I have people in my family that can't say our name right, so yeah, that's good. Yeah. And and it, it, Nick, uh, well, let's, let's let uh, Andy will wave hello. Hi, Andy. Hi, gang. So we know that the show has not started yet. Do you have any uh, updates for us here? I got the lineup. Okay. You want to read off the lineup minus? Sure. Uh, don't don't read off number five. Okay. So we got uh, we got a solid batch of comics tonight. Let's see if I can say Sam Monk first time. Got Sam Monk first time. He's been on a few times. Okay, I've, I've been I've missed a few. But Monk's done the show. So Sam Monk, Lisa Lang, uh, Solange, Rick, as I mentioned before, Matt Miller, Kylie Alexander, Will Martin, Kevin Quigley, myself, and Dan Martin. So that's that's pretty solid. These are a couple people who are returning for their second time, which I'm interested to find out more about because the first time I did the show. Uh, I, I was a little hesitant at first, and then I did it, and I uh, didn't want to stop doing it. So I pretty much have been here every month now. Um, let's. I'll we'll start with with Solange. Tell me a little bit about how you came to the show. Hey, you guys carry on. I'm cool. gonna. I'm we'll gonna see go you in back. a little bit. Andy. I'm gonna go host a comedy show. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Andy's yeah. gonna host it, and then towards the end of the show, he's gonna relieve me, host. And we'll wrap things up from there. So, uh, yeah, so lunch, feel free. Tell me how you heard about the show, how you got to be on it. Uh, so I've known about the show for a couple of months now. Um, but tonight I'm actually a replacement. A friend of mine was supposed to perform tonight, and he's performed, I think, twice already. And he cut in, and then I stepped up. And who's that Who's that friend? Devin Gwynn. He beat oh, Okay, did yeah, Devin Gwynn. Awesome. Yep, yeah, yeah, he's, he's the host on. He really does. Harvard, one of Harvard's funniest. Yeah, yeah. No, truly. <laughs> um, and then I signed up, and I knew it was naked, but I don't think I really realized what naked meant until like an hour ago when I showered. Um, so <laughs> you know, you find out a lot of the, about you're nudity really when you're showering, unless you're like me in gym class in high school. Yeah. <laughs> Bathing suits. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really excited. And but so you've never it. seen it? No, I've never seen oh, it. Okay. I've never performed naked before. Um, I like feel pretty comfortable being naked, but I also am worried about like distraction is a really big thing for me. And when I was like practicing, I like just eyes were just drawn to certain places, and now I don't know how the audience is gonna feel. So it'll be an interesting experience. Yeah. Now, uh, how long have you, have you done comedy? Like, how long have you done it for? Um, this is my third year doing it seriously, and then I've sort of been performing like variations of stand up for about. Four years. Okay. Yeah. What do you mean variations? I used to do a lot of storytelling. Okay. I like open mic. So nothing that was specifically like, I didn't write jokes. I would just tell stories and they'd be kind of funny. And then I evolved from there. Really? Are you from Boston? I'm not. I'm from New York. Okay. Yeah. There is a naked comedy show in New York. It happens less frequently. I think it's about every three months at the creek in the cave. But, yeah, I'll keep going. Uh, yeah, because you're, you've got, this is, this is almost like a, what do you call it? 
Yeah, it, well, right of passage, I was, I was going to say it, it's like a recommendation like that, to yeah. do another <laughs> show. It's like, well, they did the original one, so we could go to our lesser sister shows <laughs> down in uh, New York City. But lesser sister. Yeah. yeah, well, not lesser oh, sister. Oh, I don't know if I feel about that. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's, I didn't say that. Yeah. Rick, okay, talk. <laughs> what? I talk to someone. <laughs> What's going on? Um, now I asked you. I asked you to do the show, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, you asked me. All right, cool. So it was. Thank you again. It's always an honor if you ask me to do a show. It's always like when you you consider me to do anything comedic wise. I always appreciate that because I think you're funny and stuff like that. So mm. thank well, you. Well, thank that. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You did the roast battle last week. Uh -huh. or last one. You always have me doing embarrassing things. So I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna get you back one. <laughs> yeah. I, I say, you know, you're funny, but how do you yes, how do you exactly. stack up under pressure? I was say, I think you're trying to stab me a little bit. Like, that's all it is. It's, all right, that's all right. You're trying to make me do. You said to write a passage a few minutes ago, so yeah, I understand what I'm going through right now to be a friend. It's okay, people. If you want to be Matt's friend, this is what you got to go through. Yeah. That's all it is. It's not no. quite hazing, but you know. yeah, but it is it not. <laughs> no, I'm excited to do the show tonight. So. The biggest thing I was telling um some lunch, like the biggest thing I'm worried about is being ashy. Like no. not even really even though it is cold as shit in that room. And but, yesterday was Ash Wednesday. It so was Ash. Just, okay. Did you see the people walking around downtown? Like I saw it for at first I kept saying like did this dude like this did he fall asleep in his car? And then I kept seeing it more and more. I was like, Oh yeah. And I grew up. Yeah, yeah, why yeah, does like, the car makes you ashy? What do you mean? Because like I don't I guess it's because it like, like oh okay. I don't know, you don't know what type of night you had. I don't yeah, it could have been falling asleep at a party. I went to a, there was a kid at, uh, I, there's a side note completely, I don't recommend you do this, but you know, people fall asleep at parties and you write on them or something. Uh, that, there was a guy who fell asleep and my buddy had a pool table at his house and we we're all playing pool. And so they just chalked up the cue and put blue dots all over his face and then didn't tell him. And he went home. We were in high school. <laughs> and he, he, we got a very angry phone call the next day. Oh, shit. Mom's like, what's wrong? It's like, nothing. What did you do last night? Nothing. nothing. Just watched a movie. <laughs> Became blue and polka dotted. Probably, you got probably just do like grounding off some dumb shit. Like, yeah. Imagine trying to lie through that. And I would try to lie so hard. I always think I'm slick. And but people would always see through me, so they would just right through that line. It would be bad. Yes, I would try to pull it off. <laughs> so, but you've been doing comedy for a few years now yeah. here in Boston. Now, when did you become aware of uh, the Naked Show? Uh, I want to say when I first moved here. I knew about the Naked Show. This is my uh, the first time I ever stepped on stage was here like five years ago on that Wednesday. They do the open mics. Yep. And so I heard about the Naked Show then, but I was always like, I would never ever ever ever. <laughs> <laughs> ever do some shit like this like and that was me back then but i kind of like branched out since then and like brought in my horizons so. yeah yeah have you seen the? have you been to a show no i've never even been to it so yeah so this is sort of the way i felt when i started so i was a little hesitant to ever do it and then i uh was just sick of doing empty rooms on a wednesday mm -hmm. and they, they usually pull in a good crowd Tickets in front of Boston.com. You know? <laughs> but and, and it's funny because I just came from a show that um, had an audience of two. One guy came in during my last joke, but I, I, I almost didn't want to perform. Not, I just didn't think yeah. there should be a show. Also, I wanted to get here on time. It wasn't like this audience isn't. I don't give a shit. I've performed to close to empty rooms before, but that was. Yeah, it's cold outside, so we're going to do it. It's tough, like. Here in Boston, but that's why I love being here. Like that's why I'm still here. Like I moved from South Carolina. I moved from South Carolina, and I had that dream to like do comedy. But it was always to, like go to New York City. And then when I first got here, I watched that um, documentary when stand up stand up. Yes, and yes. So yes. I know about what comedy was. And so like, what is it like? I would say the history. Yeah, yeah. Six percent of comedy right now, the big ones are like from here, starting here. So it's like I just forget to stay here for a while, and so. I meet people like you and like people all over the city that's doing great and everything and it's mm. just it's a place to grow up and like do your friends so. yeah cool now it's a tough city though. now getting back to the ashiness what do you they said you're worried about that so what do you yes. do to combat that you have to you have to apply 
copious amounts of either cocoa butter. It's cocoa butter. Yes, as Solange so eloquently put it earlier. I think the Naked Show needs to get a cocoa butter sponsor. We do need a cocoa. Yeah. I think we do. Yes. Like we need like a connect or something. Yeah, cocoa butter, shea butter. Like, oh, I'd be all over that. You know what I'm saying? Like some cocoa, some shea, yeah. throw some rip it together like that, and then like, some, like mustard in it, exactly. peanut butter and jelly in the same jar. I don't know. No, 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 no. Don't use those. Put it in the same, in the same place. You, you got your chocolate and my peanut butter. You yeah. got your peanut butter and my chocolate. <laughs> Um, cool. So you guys, are, are you nervous at all? Yeah. 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 But you got a beer. You can get another beer. Um, I don't think another beer. Okay. Well, I'm just, it's like one thing for people to not laugh at you, but then people not to not laugh at you, and then you're naked. Like I can't even imagine the kind of pain and <laughs> no, drama. It's not to. That's a very very supportive crowd. I've, yeah. I've seen some people um do well. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Uh, so it's like gonna, I just, I just, it's cold in there. That's all. Like, listen, it's cold in there. I'm, I've covered the. It's ashiness. a warm room, but that's I've covered, I've covered the ashiness, but it's. That's all. I just, it's gonna be fun. I think it's just, it's an experience. So it's just gonna be, it's gonna be wild as shit. That's all. Yeah. It's gonna be wild. That's all. Honestly, the best part of like having a vagina is that's like neatly packaged. I don't have to worry about prepping anything. I go in, See? I go out. It's exactly. fine. I gotta do jumping jacks. I gotta go warm up. I gotta like watch certain videos and I can tell you. <laughs> well, I'll give you, I'll give you the Wi-Fi password. It's healthy. I might need. I guess I can't use my company. Not all women are neatly packaged. <laughs> you know. might see that in some of the videos. Most men aren't. Though, so. <laughs> That's true. Oh. There's a wide variety of both male and female uh, mm -hmm. bodies being displayed today, or genitals, or what have you. Like, what was your like first yeah. thoughts like during the show? Well, I mean, it was packed. It was sold out. Uh, I think we're gonna have a really good crowd tonight. And I, at first, I, I thought that I was doing ten minutes, I think, but I feel like the, the amount of time sometimes varies depending on the number of performers there are. Mm -hmm. In fact, there was one touch. So anyway, well, I'll start. I'll finish the story first. But um, so I was mostly, I didn't know if I was gonna like refer to my body or whatever. And and then Andy told me I just had five minutes and just keep it real tight. And so I just did five minutes, like my best five minutes of jokes, mm -hmm. and, and didn't comment on being naked or anything. And it was great. It went fine. And uh, yeah, I had a couple of drinks to celebrate and felt good. I was hooked, and I've been back ever since. So I hope that you guys uh, have the same. Warm feeling. We'll, we'll check back with you guys in a, in a little while. If you want, if you guys want to go uh, check out the uh, show, watch Andy warm it up, okay. and um, yeah, feel free. You can like watch from backstage if there's room in the showroom. Check it out. You guys are going third and fourth, so still time to come down if you want to. So um, awesome. Thanks for being on the podcast, and we'll Thank check you. back in and Thank see you. how it went for you. All right. Yeah. See you later. Okay. These are our first guests. Our first new.